Electronic bikes, e-bikes, they've grown in popularity. The options have grown too. The price, it can be up there. The baseline bike that we sell here is this guy. So like I said, it's about $2,800 from Gazelle. On the other end of the price spectrum, models with GPS and all kinds of comfort and safety features. From $3,000 to about $7,000. Yeah, I mean, three grand is steep for a bike. Even my first time when I first started working for electricity bikes, I was like, these people are crazy. Not crazy at all if customer demand is an indication, especially during the pandemic. In the heat of it, we actually had lines outside the store. Eventually, he says, they pay for themselves and savings on fuel and upkeep costs associated with a car. Council member Brooke Pinto wants to offer 3,000 rebates to help city residents pay for e-bikes, the e-bike act. Only to be used at local DC bike shops. So half of these rebates will be set aside for DC residents who are making less than 80% of the area median income. And for those residents, they'll be able to receive $1,200 off of their electric bike or 75% off of the sale price, whichever one is less. The other half of the rebates would be set aside for residents who earn above the median threshold. They'll be able to receive $400 off the sales price or 30% off, whichever is less. I love bikes because I got a bike at home. So really? I'll buy a bike if it's electronic because I'm starting seeing bikes that's electronic now. I would definitely consider it because... I have a car, but I try not to use it, especially in the metro D.C. area. Now, opponents of the measure say the city shouldn't be in the business of subsidizing cycling, especially for people who can afford an e-bike. The council member says it's really about removing barriers and getting more people to ride. Residents of all physical abilities and ages, but it's also really good for the environment. Pinto says her bill is expected to cost about $2 million. Public hearings are expected soon. Derek Ward, News 4.